In this video, I want to talk about an AI token that I think has absolutely incredible potential. Now, I know what you're thinking. There are so many videos out there where people are talking about their favorite token and why it's going to completely change the world. And I don't know about you, but most of those videos leave me feeling like there's something lacking. I don't feel like they really answer the question adequately of why this token is truly going to make such a big impact. I want this video to be different. We don't often do individual token coverage videos like this on this channel, but every so often a project will come along that looks special, and this is one of them. So stay tuned, and we're gonna jump into it in this video. Before we jump into today's topic, we want to remind you that here at The Crypto Code, our goal is to provide you with the top news, research, and tips when it comes to finding projects with huge profit potential. We have a proven track record with our 90% win rate on our crypto calls. Stay to the end of this video and learn how you can earn $10 in Bitcoin just for attending one of our free workshops to learn more about who we are and what we do. Remember, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. So do your own research before you make any crypto trades. Now, before we get into the content today, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when we release new videos like this one. Okay, so the project that I'm referring to in this video is Batensor. The token symbol is Tau, T-A-O. You can find this project listed on CoinMarketCap. It's a top 30 project currently, so it has pretty sizable market cap. But I don't want that to deter you from looking into this project because I think it has, again, serious potential to continue to grow from here and do a multi-X from here. Now, of course, there are no guarantees. This is not financial advice. I'm just sharing what I think this token could potentially do going forward. Okay, so this is an AI token. That's the first thing. AI, it's hot right now. A lot of people are talking about it. It's a definite buzzword, but there's good reason for it. AI is really starting to come onto the scene. And one of the big players in AI, at least one of the big public facing players, is ChatGPT. If you haven't used ChatGPT yet, I highly recommend doing so. It is an incredible tool. And it's quickly becoming pretty indispensable for anyone who's involved in any kind of research. So uh, definitely check it out because that's really going to, I think, if you haven't used it yet, that's going to show you how powerful and how useful AI can be. All right, so that's the first thing. But Tensor is an AI project. AI itself is going to be huge. It's projected to grow to something like a trillion dollars in the next decade as an industry. But I mean, I could see it growing much, much more than that. It just seems like the potential is infinite for really reshaping and ideally improving a lot of different facets of society. So then, so we have AI, and then we have blockchain, we have crypto. Blockchain is another revolutionary technology. It's continuing to grow, as we all know. It's becoming more and more interesting. The user base overall is continuing to increase. And so you're bringing those two things together. That's the first thing. Now here's the second thing that's really important about this whole concept. AI right now, ChatGPT, is centralized. It's controlled by a company, essentially. And it seems like whenever a company decides to build a project like this, they inevitably start introducing their own biases. So ChatGPT is not an unbiased program. It definitely has political leanings, it has opinions, and those opinions, of course, reflect the opinions of those who created the tool. So I don't know why these companies like Google, OpenAI, etc., can't just create an, ob an objective, unbiased tool, but they can't seem to do so, or they don't want to do so. But unfortunately, it's not just about introducing opinions into these programs. A lot of these tools they go a step further and they start to censor, censor the other side. They start to say that certain things are bad to say. Other things are okay to say. Well, censorship, free speech, that's a really important thing. 
for a lot of people all over the world. I mean, it's fundamental for a lot of people around the world. And so that's one of the things that's really giving rise to this whole concept of decentralization. It's that these centralized companies and entities are, they're kind of overstepping what they should be doing. And it's making people feel quite uncomfortable and unsettled to say the least. So that's a big catalyst for decentralization. So let's talk about Batensor and where it fits into all of this. So on the Batensor network, you have what are called miners. Miners are basically AI programs built by developers that are added to the network. So think of Batensor like a massive study group for AI where every program is contributing to the conversation. Now here's where it gets interesting. These AI models are constantly sharing insights and results and information with each other. They're constantly learning from each other. They're in this collaborative environment. So unlike centralized AI companies where you've got a singular group of people contributing to building a single AI, you've got this collaborative system where all of these individual AIs are learning from each other and improving as a result. Okay, so you might be wondering, why would everybody be sharing their AI models with everyone else? Well, that's where Potensor's incentive structure comes into play. Individual miners are rewarded for the AI programs they contribute, and the better their programs perform, the more AI tokens they earn. Now, on top of that, developers can actually stake their tokens on the network. So it's kind of like placing a bet on how well their AI model is going to do. And the better the model does, the more tau tokens you earn as a result. So there's this really deep incentive structure built into the network to incentivize developers to continue to improve their models. Now, all of this is happening on a blockchain, so it's completely decentralized. Any developer from anywhere in the world can jump onto the network and start contributing their AI models. And again, these AI models are talking to each other. These developers are incentivized to continually improve their AI models. So you can see how an environment like that could lead to a truly cutting edge AI that is unbiased, that is more objective, because it's reflective of this collaborative, decentralized environment that's been set up. So I think it's indisputable that there is a need for a tool like this. And I just think about how Batensor has this head start. They're doing a really good job of executing so far, and they're one of the first movers. I also just think about the growing tension, the growing divide that we're seeing, not just in the United States, but around the world, centering around different issues. And this tool, this concept, you could say, is offering a solution to that. It's offering something that everyone can use comfortably without feeling like they're going to be censored, without feeling like they're going to be getting biased information. And I think just the way that everything's looking, that that's going to become more and more of an issue going forward. And that could fuel the growth of Batensor and the appreciation of the Tau token. Now, the final thing I want to touch on is the supply of the Tau token. The Tau token is capped at a supply of 21 million tokens. And I think that's really important. And I think it's a really smart thing of them to do because token supply in general in the crypto space has become quite an issue, especially in this cycle. I mean, it's almost like tokens are just raining from the sky right now. There's so many different crypto projects out there. Many of them have billions and billions of tokens. They don't even release all of their tokens at once onto the market. Many of them will lock tokens up for early investors and release them in segments. So it always just feels like there's this constant new barrage of supply onto the market. And I think that has a lot of investors and traders just a little bit uneasy. It's like, is the supply just too much for, for the demand? Is the demand not going to be enough to really start pushing these token prices up as the cycle continues to, to heat up here? So I think this is just yet another positive for Batensor. They've capped the supply of their Tau token. And not only that, but there's real demand for this token. There's real incentive built into the, this network. And if you, thing is, if you really 
think about a lot of the different crypto projects out there, they all explain why a token is necessary. But in many cases, when you really think about it and you really get down to the nuts and bolts, you start to realize a lot of these projects actually don't even need a token. There's literally no reason for the token to exist. But there's a reason for the Tau token to exist. It incentivizes improvement. And that's really, really important because competition leads to improvement. Steve Jobs has alluded to this in terms of how he went about leading the development of these really awesome products at Apple. And he compared it to the polishing of rocks, I believe, where you put these rocks inside of a machine and you just grind them and grind them and grind them. And he compared that to how it is when you put a lot of really smart people in a room together and you just get them sharing ideas and you might even spark a little bit of competition. And that, it was that friction that created a really, really good product. That's how Steve Jobs explained it. So I see a parallel there with Potenser. Uh, I see that this Tau token is really the, uh, the center point of that. So there's real demand for this token and there's limited supply. That's a fantastic recipe. On top of that, you've got, of course, the AI narrative that is already a big buzzword in the crypto space, but for good reason, because it's not just a narrative, it's real. AI is here, it's picking up momentum, it's gonna be a huge industry. And then you've got the crypto narrative coming into that, where the bull market's starting to heat up. So we've got a lot of things that are tailwinds for Batensa right now. Now, where could the token price go in this cycle? Well, okay, again, the supply is capped at 21 million. Bitcoin supply is capped at 21 million. Due to the demand for Bitcoin, Bitcoin has rocketed up to about 63,000 per token right now. Is Tau gonna go to 63,000 per token? I doubt it, I highly doubt it in this cycle, but I do think that it could go well into the four figures. Now, to what actual price point it could go to, it's really anyone's guess. I could see it potentially going to $5,000, $10,000 per token in this cycle. Again, though, don't base your investment decisions off of what I'm saying in this video. Make sure to do your own research. And I just wanna caution you as well on setting a price target that's too high. I've made that mistake before, and it can be a big trap for crypto investors because you set this price target, you get it fixed in your mind, and you wait and wait and wait for the project to hit that price before selling. Sometimes though it doesn't hit that price target and you don't end up selling and you end up riding the token all the way to the bottom. So whatever your price target is for Tau or any other token for that matter during this cycle, make sure to take profits in segments on the way up. Don't just wait for that one price target to, to come to fruition because it might not. That's why it's important to take profits on the way up. Uh, in segments. That's often the best way to do it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please again go ahead, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the crypto code. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more crypto insights. Let me know your thoughts on today's video in the comments below. You can also check out what we do here at the crypto code by registering for one of our free workshops where we show you how we and our students profit in crypto, no matter if the markets are up or down. Attend our free workshop, take a short quiz at the end, and we will send you $10 in Bitcoin. No purchase needed. We've already given away hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin just this year alone. Just look for the link in the description of this video to register for the workshop. It will be worth your time. Our public trade record currently has a 90% win rate, and you can view it here. Best of luck with your investments, and remember to stay informed and stay safe in the crypto world. See you next time.